let's start with some lighter news let's start with the with the new cards shall we i have not read these at all to keep my first reaction for stream i i have no idea if these are broken as hell or completely mid it's magic specter support honestly magic specter as it's as a as a pure deck i've never been a huge fan of magic specter the only the only magic specter cards i've really ever used where Bunbuku and Kirin in other Pendulum strategies, I haven't really been a pure Magic Spectre enjoyer back in the day. Um, but yeah, I, I also never really minded it. The only thing about Magic Spectre that I never really enjoyed was the fact that they all share um, this effect of not being targetable. I, I think I think it's cool when um, when archetypes have kind of like a... have an identity by sharing a specific type of effect right i think that's uh that's a cool thing in general right when like every ba monster has this effect to special summon itself from the hand for example uh or whatever i, I think it's cool when when archetypes share certain identity pieces but with magic specter like the i i just don't think targeting protection is the most fun thing around but like it's whatever uh let's see we have a magic specter porcupine it looks kind of cool uh yamarashi Pendulum scale 2, level 4 monster, 15-15. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Uh, during the main phase, if you control a Magic Spectre monster, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, okay, this alone makes Bunbuku a one-card Electromite before Pendulum summoning in the OCG. Uh, for us, it's a one-card beyond the Pendulum, right? That's... Interesting. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target a Magic Spectre spell in your graveyard. Set it. Uh, you can target a Magic Spectre spell in your graveyard and set it. So from the spells that I remember for Magic Spectre, I don't think there's anything super crazy to do here, but maybe the new ones are nice. Uh, and then it can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects and cannot be targeted with card effects, which is what all the Magic Spectres have. All right. Uh, good card. Good card. Magic Spectre Draco. Pendulum XYZ monster. You can only use the Pendulum effect once per turn. If you have a Magic Spectre or Draco Slayer card in your other Pendulum zone, you can add one Magic Spectre card from your deck to your hand. Then you can destroy a card in your Pendulum zone. Okay, it's basically a Luster Pendulum if you can get it into the scale. Two level four monsters. If you can pendulum summon level four, you can pendulum summon this this face up card from your extra deck. You can only use the first monster effect of this name card's name once per turn. Uh, no, up to twice per turn. If a monster is tributed while this monster is on the field, you can detach a material from this card. Special summon a level six or lower wind spellcaster from your deck. Ooh. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect or tributed, you can place it in the pendulum zone. Yeah, this tutors, uh, this tutors Kirin from the deck, which is, that's very strong. Triggering it in Magic Spectre is not that hard, because if I remember correctly, all of their trap cards were tribute to do something, right? It was like tribute to negate, they, I think they have a counter trap, and I think they have a, they have the, the thingy that tributes and banishes a card. Right, so th that's kind of their thing. The spell, I just, the spells as well. Yeah, the spell and traps of Magic Spectre used to be disruption by tributing. So, yeah, if you tribute for Dynoster, does this trigger? Yeah, you can't tribute itself, but you have to tribute other stuff, right? You tribute, you tribute the other Magic Spectres to summon Dynoster. Uh, yeah, you can, you can summon Kirin from deck in in the OCG. But that's good. Uh, it, it might even have some interesting applications because this does not say Wind Spellcaster Pendulum Monster unless it's a mistranslation. This just says any level 6 or lower Wind Spellcaster. So there could be um, even targets outside of Magic Spectre that are interesting. I can't think of one right now, but when a card just says generic level 6 or lower Wind Spellcaster, surely there's interesting stuff. Uh, Magic Spectre Orthrus Nue. Another Link 2 monster. Two Pendulum monsters, including a Magic Spectre monster. Okay, so Bunbuku, one card makes this by searching this dude. You can only use... 
uh, Spell Striker, thank you for the uh, Prime. And Adrishino, thank you for the 11 months as well. Appreciate you guys. Um, if this card is Link Summoned, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Magic Spectre and Draco Slayer monsters. Also, add up to two face up Magic Spectre Pendulum monsters from your extra deck to your hand. Then you can add up to two Magic Spectre Pendulum monsters with different names from each other from your deck to your extra deck face up. <laughs> what? Yo, that card is crazy. Okay. Which scale is Bunbuku? Five. Okay. Okay, so we normal summon Bunbuku. One card combo. Bunbuku, normal summon. Add Porcupine. Special summon Porcupine. Uh, we could add back, we could set back a spell in the grave if we have it, but let's say we don't. We link into this thing. We return Bunbuku and Porcupine from the extra deck to the hand. So they can become our scales. And then we can add two Magic Spectre Pendulums from the deck to the extra deck. So what you would add in this case, because we're going to have scale 2 and scale 5, right? We're going to have scale 2 and scale 5. So we can't put Kirin in the OCG. Kirin is still banned in the TCG. Uh, but you can add the cat and the frog to the extra deck, right? Which is um, trap search and spell search. What does the fox do? Which one, what does, which one is the, the, the cat is... Oh, the fox searches the trap. What is the, what does the, the frog do then? Oh, wait, no. Kirin is banned in both TCG and OCG. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the frog sets a spell or trap from the deck. Okay. So you get both traps from one Bunbuku, right? You get both traps from one Bunbuku. And this. Uh, I, I will say... I will say... Even before we read further, this link two is completely cracked. I am glad that they did not put the non-targeting thing on this. Like, if this thing was, like, if, if you could not imperm or veiler this shit, that would be insane. Um, but still, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. Absolutely phenomenal card. Magic Spectre Wind. Click, uh... <laughs> quick play spell you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn when you activate this card you can also tribute a wind spellcaster special summon a magic specter from hand or grave if you tributed a monster you can special summon it from deck instead a uh, very good card very very good card as well um yeah etelli plus reborn okay it's not etelli plus reborn now you're you're capping a little bit it's a reborn or it's a teleport that you have to tribute a card for. Right? It's not as simple as just activate this and it's emergency teleport. Because if you don't have a wind spellcaster to tribute, you can't summon from the deck. Is the tribute a cost? Um, yes. The tribute would happen on activation, which is the same time window as when you would pay cost. Yes. It's before... The effect resolves it's when you activate this card you contribute as a, a wind spell it's like an optional cost basically it's a cost you don't have to pay but you can pretty much is how it works uh i will say i'll say a few things right off the bat because there's a lot of there's a lot of doom posting going on in chat right now people are like i hate this already can we please ban the link before it even comes out and stuff like that um this card is very strong, but I am not sure if it would really be a big problem because I mean maybe it's maybe it's just good, right? Maybe it's good, but on the other on, like I I as long as Kirin stays banned, as long as Kirin stays banned, I'm not sure if this gonna is if it's gonna be a huge issue. Because yes, you get the two trap cards. You get you get the two Magic Spectre trap cards out of this, but then you're locked into Magic Spectre and Draco Slayers, so you get you get nothing else pretty much. And I'm not sure how much other interruption Magic Spectre can really put up without Kirin. 
Without Kirin, it's just going to be a very efficient way to set up two trap cards and pretty much nothing else. Right? You, you can't set up anything else. Even if you can Pendulum Summon the entire rest of your hand, pretty much, you are still locked into Magispector and Draco Slayer, which doesn't really have any form of interruption. Right? Secret Village? How do you get Secret Village out of these cards? How does it search Secret Village? Oh, Majesty Pegasus. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. If you pair it with... Yeah, you could pair it with Draco Slayers to... But that, that's not a that's not a one card combo, is it? It's not like Bunbuku gets you the traps plus village. It is? Ooh, how? Oh, Majesty is a is a Magispector. Uh-oh. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah! Uh. This card is always treated as a Magispector card. Okay, now... Now... Now we have a problem. Now we come full circle. I, I, I forgot this was a Magispector card. I did not... I did not think... I was thinking about the Magispectors that they played back in the day. Hmm... So, one Bunbuku... One Bunbuku, if we if we disregard all other cards in our hand, just one Bunbuku will set up the Link 2, Majesty Pegasus, and then you can search one Magispector trap card as well. And you get Secret Village. Yada is also one card combo, yes, because Yada searches a spell card, right? So Yada just Yada is basically Bunbuku. Now, right? It's just Bunbuku because you go Yara, tribute Bunbu, uh, tribute Yara to get Bunbuku. It's even better to have Yara. It's even better because then you have a target when you summon this this dude, right? Yara is even is even stronger because then you have a target for the for the reset, so you end on a free follow up card basically. Uh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess. <sighs> so. <sighs> the the bad thing about this deck, I guess, would be. The really bad thing about this would be if you played against a deck that had spellcasters in it. Which is something that remains to be seen. Whether there's another meta deck that has spellcasters in it. But still, that's it's 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 pretty toxic. Uh, Lightzard, thank you for the four months. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Welcome back. But honestly, I mean, isn't this just pretty much the same as what pendulum decks already do for the most part? It's not a one card combo for most pendulum decks, but it's like pendulum can already do that, no? You just went to the wrong club. Trust. You just went to the wrong club. They still do. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. Chat, come on. Look at me. Look, look at me. Pendulum going first and auto winning the game. Yeah, this is like the seventh time you've presented Pendulum going first and winning the game in class. It's still not meta. It's, I mean, like, okay, here it's a one-card combo, which is better, for sure. But I would argue, um, I would argue that Pendulum is not, um, the, the problem that Pendulum had was never that, oh, when I go first, my board is not strong enough, right? It's, the Pendulum mechanic in itself is, is very flawed, I think, uh, but it's, Ah. It's like, I'm going second against this deck. I'm probably not losing ever. Uh, 
And I don't think you can build the deck. I don't think you can build the deck as like a as like a super efficient one card combo deck, right? Like I don't think you can build it in a way where you just play 20 non-engine and you rely on a one card combo to get you through simply because I don't think you have enough one card starters. Like you have Bunbuku, you have Yara, and you have Is that it? It's just those two, right? This card works with any, um, like if you have a wind spellcaster, this card works. Uh, so you have a bunch of like one and a half card combos, right? Like one card plus any other does work, right? But my point is like, it's not going to be consistent. You're not going to play magic specter one card combo control. It's still going to be a pendulum combo pile. So when you go second, it's like... You're not going to win a game of Yu-Gi-Oh going second. I don't know. I... <laughs> These are good cards. These are good cards. I wish... Um, I wish... Majesty Pegasus didn't search any field spell. I think that's kind of cringe. I don't know why it does that even. Um, yeah. But the, they're, they're good cards. They're they're good cards. I I'm not sure if they if they solve the problem that pendulum decks have. I I will say I don't think this means that Kirin will come back. But if it does come back, then this gives this somewhat of a boost. However, I will say I'm not sure if uh, if you can even incorporate Kirin very easily in this combo because aren't most magic specters scale um two or five. This was always weird about magic specters, I feel like, because they they wouldn't really be able to pendulum summon Kirin on their own by themselves. Which was very, very odd. Alright, so Magic Specters. The cat is a pendulum scale two. The the crow is a scale five. Fox is a scale 2. Bunbuku is scale 5. And the Toad is also a scale 5. Yeah, they can't Pendulum Summon uh, Kirin. So the only way you would set it up... You could set it up and summon it from the deck with the, with the, with the XYZ. But at that point, we're talking uh, way more card combos than just Bunbuku, I think. Uh, Rayborn, thank you for the six months. They don't really need to pendulum summon it. Well, like for the for the biggest efficiency out of Kirin, you would have to be able to pendulum summon it because Kirin will return to your hand, which is kind of annoying, right? Because if you return it to your hand and then you can't pendulum summoning pendulum summon it the next turn, it's gonna be bad for your follow-up. But yeah. You can just bounce another magic specter. Well, yeah, you can bounce another magic specter, but then you're gonna lose Kirin and it goes to the extra deck because they attack over it, and then you also can't pendulum summon it out of there. So it's the you know. The spell does it? Yeah, but you're not gonna use the you're not gonna use the spell to summon Kirin. It's not a very efficient way to do it in a pendulum deck. Chat, can we agree on the fact that be not being able to pendulum summon a monster in your pendulum deck is a problem? Can we stop coping for just two seconds and and agree on the fact that it's awkward when you can't pendulum summon the Magic Spectre Kirin in your Magic Spectre pendulum deck? Can you stop telling me other ways to summon it? I'm aware there's other ways to put the card on the field, but it'd be a lot better if you could. God damn. I didn't say the deck is completely unplayable because you can't pendulum summon Kirin, which by the way is banned still anyways. Uh, 
Anyways, these cards are good. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if Magi Specter is good because of it though. Like I the, the cards are solid. I still probably wouldn't play the deck as of right now, but we'll see. What it also depends on what the environment is when these cards come out. Right? Because there's been times where these cards would have been immediately meta, but I'm not sure if 2023 or 2024 is probably when we get those cards. Uh, I don't know if that's a 2024 meta deck.